Intel recently left the NUC space, and I think I know why. This is the Geekcom Mini IT13, and Geekcom sponsored this video for me to showcase the Mini IT13 and how, honestly, I don't think we needed Intel to make these PCs to begin with, because Geekcom is the first brand who actually put an i9-13900H into a mini PC like this one. And you might be excused for thinking that this is a NUC, and this could be your next NUC, but this is actually built from the ground up from Geekcom, taking a lot of inspiration from what made the Intel NUC series so great, packing a lot of power in a small form factor while also giving you upgradability, making sure that it stays cool and that you're running with with some of the latest hardware out there, but in a package that can be mounted on the back of your monitor. And Geekcom has sponsored several of our videos in the past, taking a look at the mini PC. They sponsored our overview and look at the Intel NUC 13. They sponsored our overview and look at the Geekcom AS6 and pitted that against the NUC 13. And now we are here taking a look at their own product that effectively will replace whatever Intel was coming out with because that side of their business has been divested and sold off. And so now it's gonna be on third-party manufacturers like Geekcom to come out with solutions that can still meet the market. And I can tell you that this little thing is every bit as good as the NUC that Intel made and even better. So let's start off with the specs. You've got the i9-13900H, which comes in at 14 cores and 60 threads. You've got 6P cores, 8E cores, all running at a 5.4 gigahertz turbo clock in a 45 watt TDP package. Inside of that chip, you're gonna have the Intel Iris Xe graphics with 96 execution units. And this particular i9 version that Geekcom offers comes with 32 gigs of RAM. However, you can configure their mini PCs to either be down to an i5 and have 16 gigs of RAM or all the way to an i9 with 32 gigs of RAM. But it's even upgradable beyond that because hidden inside this shell is very easily accessed laptop memory slots that you can pop in a higher capacity kit to get all the way up to 64 gigs. It is DDR4 running at 3200 megahertz, which is one of the benefits of Intel's 13th gen platform. You can still stick with the more affordable DDR4 stuff, but you also have access to upgrading your storage. Included in this one is a two terabyte SSD with an extra M.2 slot. And as mentioned, the lower spec versions with the i5 will have less capacity on the storage, whereas this two terabytes comes to fault with the i9. You also have Wi-Fi 6E with AX to 11 and Bluetooth 5.2, and you can even fit a two and a half inch drive inside of this little thing. And as mentioned, the box does come with a mount so that you can put this on the back of your monitor using the VESA holes. But then there's a ton of connectivity on this. On the front, you've got two USB 10 gig ports, 3.2 Gen 2 ports, as well as a headset combo port and a power button. On the rear, it essentially goes toe to toe with the NUC. Coming in with two USB 4 ports capable of 40 gigabits per second in display port display out. You have the power connector as well well as two HDMI 2.0 ports. You have a two and a half gig LAN port, an extra 10 gig USB 3.2 port, and then a USB 2.0 port. You also have a Kensington lock on the right side of the device, but on the left side of the device, something that wasn't included in Intel's NUC is an SD card reader so that you can actually use this for ingesting footage, maybe doing some Lightroom work or even some basic video editing. The Geekcom Mini IT13 can actually handle that pretty decently. And it's holding all of these parts in a high strength metal and plastic frame that's designed to prevent deformation caused by drops or external force. And there's even a fan in here that stays very quiet, under 45 decibels at maximum load. Now, comparing the Mini IT13 to something like the NUC 13 is gonna be a wash. They're almost essentially the same processor for a lot of the things that you're gonna wanna do. The Mini IT13 does have more cores than the i7-1360P that was on the NUC. However, because you're dealing with laptop TDPs and effectively the same graphics chip inside each of these, things like gaming, you're gonna get roughly the same FPS. In my Cyberpunk benchmarks, we did nearly hit identical FPS between these two. Now you might get a little extra CPU performance out of the Mini IT13, thanks to its two extra cores and four extra threads, but that's gonna be dependent on your workload and something like my Premiere Pro render benchmark where it uses a lot of GPU acceleration. What I found is that in a 4K render of an 11 minute video, we were nearly washed between the two with the mini IT13 capable of rendering it out in about 26 and a half minutes where is that's exactly what the NUC was capable of doing. All while drawing only 64 watts from the wall, meaning that these things are remarkably efficient, giving you a lot of power in a compact form factor. But one of the things to really know is that Intel and their NUCs were always kind of known to be 
expensive, for especially the specs that you were getting, you were paying a price premium to get it in a compact form factor. With Geekom, that doesn't happen to be the case any longer, just like we demonstrated with the Geekom AS6. When making these devices is in the hands of companies like Geekom, you can reduce the price quite considerably. And that's what we have with the Mini IT13. So I've shown that spec for spec, these things go toe to toe, both in gaming as well as in rendering benchmarks and power draw. These things stand together as being remarkably capable devices. But as spec, this NUC 13 Pro costs $910, which is a very tough pill to swallow when you're looking in the mini PC game. To get two extra cores, an extra SD card reader, and a metal chassis instead of a plastic one, you are paying less money. This thing is actually cheaper and not by a small margin. It's not like it's 900 versus 910. This thing as spec with 32 gigs of RAM and two terabyte SSD is $789. But if you're checking out Geekcom's website right now, if you use the code UFD space tech, that's two different words, UFD tech, you can save $40 off this Geekcom mini IT 13. So it's only going to cost you $750. So for a 16% savings, you are getting an extra SD card reader, you're getting two more cores, four more threads, effectively the same gaming performance, all in a better chassis from Geekcom directly, making it so that it really shows that the path forward for a lot of these mini PCs is going to be in the hands of companies like Geekcom. The NUC is a great product for people who need something that's small, that's quiet, that actually fits in a place where you can't see it and delivers you power that you want on demand while not potentially drawing a whole lot. As I've mentioned in my previous reviews of the NUC 13, this thing would be great in a situation where we give our South African employees the ability to edit off of their battery backups in a very light workload scenario. I didn't send this home with Reese because I actually ended up buying him a PC in South Africa and importing this stuff to South Africa as a whole mission. So we decided to change it up on how we're doing it. But these devices sit in a class of their own. And if Intel is just licensing out the chips, what we'll find is that the prices are likely going to come down just like they have here. It honestly seems like a no-brainer if you're in the NUC space, this Geekcom Mini IT13 can be your next NUC. Again, you can check it out at Geekcom's website at the link in the video description using code UFDTech to save $40. Additionally, if you want to check it out on a place like Amazon, you can use the code UFDTechIT13 to save that $40. Or if you're buying it in the UK, you can use that exact same code UFDTechIT13 to save £40 off of Geekcom's UK website. So whether you're buying from Geekcom or Amazon's website, you're going to be spending less money getting more specs more opportunities out of this thing and it's very clear to see the reason why intel left the nux space because other companies could do it just as good and even better big thanks again to geekcom for sponsoring today's video don't forget to check everything out down below and we'll be back here with more tech videos in the future